I think that there's some things that should be explored. Uh, I don't want to shut off a discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's important that we explore and we hear from the community as well as from uh, the Planning Commission and Council on these matters. Remember, tonight is our first real view of this, and so it wasn't something we were going to be able to solve even a portion of it tonight. But I think the exploration of it was important, uh, and it's also important for the two groups to have met together on this. Um, if there are no other comments, I'm going to call on a short public comment, but remember that because of our other meeting, we're going to have to make it uh, rather quick. Mrs. Bernardi? Um, I would like to, uh, first of all, state that I was late and I had to be late because this meeting was scheduled in conflict with one's ability to sign up to speak at the other meeting following this one, which is very important, number one. And that was scheduled through our city administration. And second, and I don't want Grand Sopra to think I'm saying I'm moving towards that letter, city administration had that kind of built into the structure. Also, this place of meeting is very unfamiliar to the public, very unfamiliar to the public. Um, and, and I do, and the reason it was stated was because there wasn't room at the city council meeting uh, uh, chambers. And as I look around, there's added, there would have been adequate space there. The only difference is that the public would be familiar with that place and not familiar with this place. So I did come in late. And as such, I don't know if you covered this, and I would like to know if my concern is cost. Um, I was under the, uh, of the understanding that you were going to ask the DDA of Troy for money, the Brownfield Authority of Troy for money, and the state of uh, Michigan for money. Now, if you covered that, fine. Uh, I haven't heard one word since I've been here. And Following this meeting, we're going to another meeting that where the number one option that was presented because of shortfall of money in our city was to lose our library, lose our library, lose our museum, lose our um, everything, lay off people in the police department. Um, so that's why cost is extremely important to me, and I, I maybe I missed it because of the built-in conflict of interest that the city manager seems to have to have. But I do not know if that was covered. Also, I'm concerned about the uh, competition with Somerset Collection. Um, I'm concerned about large venue store. Really, I, I, I don't hear the specifics about what that really is. I heard 30,000 uh, feet would be the largest. But you know, I have a lot of concern about that. Um, Somerset Collection is a jewel. I agree. With our planning <coughs> and um, I, I think we have to think a, a very uh, seriously about undermining and sabotaging that development over there. Um, also, uh, I, I wanted to thank Councilman Howerlap for, Howler for once again standing up to the people uh, surrounding the uh, development. Again, a soul and lonely voice, but at least we have somebody who does care about that. I care about it too, but I'm not in council. Also, um, I, I'm concerned that um, if you put, uh, do this in phases and store the concrete on the site, I'm afraid what if you run out of money and we end up with concrete just stored on that site? That was in the previous plan. I don't know if it's in this plan. But that's what I can see happening, that we end up with concrete just stored on that site because, oh, well, we, we ran out of money. So, um, and also, the 15 in college uh, development that Grand Sapa did, you know, part of that development, that site plan, was to have a beautiful moat uh, there. And ever since I've ever uh, seen it developed, there's never been a beautiful moat. It's just been an empty, uh, slug-infested, uh, empty hole. Uh, there's never been any water in it. And um, I think we saw a lot of pretty pictures. And as Mr. Miller once said about the Civic Center Task Force uh, plan, a lot of pre pretty pictures. but. I'm looking for some hard detail about cost, especially in the economic downturn that we're, we're looking at. Thank you, Ms. Bernardi. Uh, because of our uh, time allotment, I'm going to have to stop the meeting now. Uh, if the Planning Commission uh, it schedules a meeting on October 6th and discusses the things that were brought up tonight, of course the public uh, can come to that meeting and they can get more input, more information there. Uh, I think it behooves everyone to, to have as much data and information as possible. So if there's no uh, other business right now, um, meetings adjourned.
And uh, council will be going this way. The other folks will be going that way. Okay. Thank you. Good to see you.